When I was born, my grandfather took me as his own. So he pretty much took me on. Um, I spent almost every day of my life with him. It's not that my parents weren't there or my parents were bad or anything, but my parents went to pizzeria. So they were always gone. They were, and they were young too, right? Growing up was a lot of fun, a lot of experiences. It wasn't all good. Um, there was a lot of bad things that happened. Being sexually molested as a young kid um, for quite some time took a lot of effect on me, but I think I blacked it out. You, you, you zone out. It's weird because I don't remember a lot of growing up, and that's odd anytime you talk to somebody. It's like you should be remembering these things growing up, but I don't. Um, and a lot of the trauma I experienced even being uh, you know, sexually molested. Moving to Burlington was like almost like a whole different life. Um, I started dancing, um, hip hop, and I was actually really good. It was interesting, I was really good at dancing. We danced for Public Enemy, um, we danced for Maestro, we danced for Big Daddy Kane a couple times. You envisioned this 13-year-old this, this going to these dance clubs. It was awesome, I mean, life was good. So many friends, so many people. It was almost like I was living the life of a rock star. And then, like that, life changed. together actually a couple nights before we actually pulled an all-nighter. That was the last time I ever seen uh, them alive. They were joyriding one night and uh, they got into an accident on number one side road and uh, four of them died. It was a little while after that we were at the wake for one of them and we were, we were all at uh, this place called The Rock in Burlington and that's when uh, Paul Bernardo kidnapped Leslie Mahaffey. I was friends with Leslie. Um, I knew Leslie Mahaffey. I, I was there the night she was actually kidnapped. She was kidnapped as we were all together. We were just, you know, a bunch of kids got together after the, after the funeral of one of our friends, and Leslie was there with us. Um, and that's, that's the night that Paul Bernardo kidnapped her. Moving to Oakville was a little different, but that's where I think my life changed. I became an asshole. I, I lied, I manipulated. People needed to be the way I needed them to be, not realizing why. You would manipulate situations. You would do anything it took to get what you needed. So I was bad. I, I wasn't a good son. I'm sure I was horrible to my parents. I wasn't a good brother. I'm sure I was terrible to my sister. And I wasn't a good friend. I'm not sure why people wanted to be around me. I was so popular, but yet I was a bad person. I remember I was, I was, I was about 16 years old. We went to this club in Mississauga and it was dead, it was empty. I was talking to the owner. I remember he came up to me and he gave me a box of flyers. He's like, make my club packed and we'll talk. So we started pumping flyers everywhere. We we're promoting this club. Within a year, I was part owner. So now here I am, 16 years old, and I own my own dance club. Once again, life was good. And then death comes into play again. A friend of, a, a good friend, um, his parents owned a, a, like a truck stop restaurant type of deal out, out, out north and he had to go up there and he had left there and a truck came and actually hit him and killed him. I remember every year for Christmas, I would always get my wife a big extravagant gift. So this year I did something different. I bought her a $20 journal. And what I did was I said, I'm gonna give you pretty much something that I've never given anybody and I've never been able to give anybody. I'm gonna give you my thoughts anytime something sticks out to me for that day or that week, I'm gonna write it down and I'm gonna do it for the full year. And next year for Christmas, that's gonna be a gift. People see an image of me that, that it's not me. It's my anxiety, it's my depression. Constantly trying to be something that everybody wants you to be. And it wasn't until recently, within two years, everything changed. Meeting my wife was the first step into my progression of change. She accepted me for who I was. I mean, in the beginning, it was difficult. She thought I was, you know, full of it. You know, you couldn't have possibly done these many things and you couldn't have possibly known this, these many people and there's no way. But getting into it and her seeing and learning kind of changed her perspective on things. So keeping that journal, I noticed as I would write things, I was becoming more open but I felt like I was able to express myself more and it really opened my mind and my eyes to a lot of stuff. 
my relationship now with my parents, friends, family. I've always helped people. Everybody came to me for advice. I, mean, I, I would have loved to have said I followed my own advice that I gave them, but that was never the case. This idea of a vlog, it touches so many different perspectives. The type of people that hang around me, anxiety, depression, suicide, fun. The, you know, my office isn't your standard, typical office. The people I hang around aren't your standard, typical people. My family life isn't your standard, typical family life. There's always something going on. How we are as a unit is probably the strongest bond anybody will ever see. I keep a very tight circle now. Before I knew thousands of people and I, I, every night there was somebody at my house, every night something was going on. I tighten that. I wanna reach out to people. I, I want to help people. I, I want people to see what it's like dealing with, with anxiety and, and suicide depression, emetophobia. What is life? What's it about? How do you deal with it? How do you transition, you know, as you're growing in these, these steps of life? The journey of life and the path you're taking on life is amazing. And it's not what you've done, how you learned as an individual when something happens. A lot of people will take a negative with a negative. With me, I, I've slowly turn that into a negative to a positive.